So I'll put the link in the bio for this downgrader. You want to make sure you're on the 32-bit version and not the 64-bit or you won't be able to exploit. And this is how you downgrade it so you can exploit again. You just want to open up this file. Check your version. If it doesn't match this, you want to reinstall for sure. So press reinstall. And yes. And then you're done. This is my full tutorial on how to drop the hood cash with the Microsoft Store UWP Roblox. Let's get straight into this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. There are a couple applications that we need before we can start dropping. We will start off with the Roblox account manager. I'll leave the link in the description and also show you guys how to download that right now. You can start off by going to any browser and typing in Roblox account manager 3.7. Take you to GitHub right here, IC Wolf 22. You want to press on this link and make sure you press on 3.7 right here, pre release, and then download the zip file. I already got it, but I'm still going to show you guys, anyways, on how to unzip it. Edit downloads, right click, cracked all, go ahead and open that up. Encryption is optional. You're not going to have any accounts here. Make sure you have this button. Very important. UWP. Press this little arrow. Use your password. And then add all your alt accounts here. If you don't have any, I'll show you how to sign up. Hit OK. If you don't have any, press add account. And then sign up and then make as much as you want. 36 is max for the script. Your accounts will be added here. And press UWP. You're not going to have no accounts here. Add them now. Highlight all of your accounts. Drag them over. I'm only using one, so I'm going to drag one over. Getting instances, just wait. Once it's done, and you'll see it there. So we'll exit out, we're good to go. Now we're gonna get our ID for the hood or whatever game. Go to Roblox, hood. Copy the URL ID right here. Paste that in. Where it says job ID. Put your private server link there. If you don't have one, you can press utilities, hit refresh, and then you can join small servers. The ID, I'm going to paste that into there. You hit save, whether you put a link or the utility ID, then hit join server. Don't worry about what I do here. Gapping. This is normal. Press leave. Log in, now you're gonna have to sign into the, right click that, hit copy, copy username, paste that into here. And with the password, copy password, paste that into there, log in. We're gonna repeat this for all the accounts. Now we can go ahead and find an executor. I use a free one called Fluxus. You can also pay for it, but we'll get into that right now. You can go ahead and open up your browser and type in fluxteam.net. I'll also leave this one in the description as well. Press download now, LV installer. It'll take you to this link for ties. And then you wanna scroll down and press free access with ads. Press I'm interested, explore website and learn more. You got to do this a couple times to get past this link for ties. Just follow these steps.
go to your downloads right click fluxus and extract it like we did last time run the bootstrapper here i already ran it so i'm going to open up fluxus folder and run the exe you might have to get a key again just do what we did with the link for tice you can go back and watch that you got fluxus these are the scripts i can put this in my discord server link will be in description So now we're making your alt control script. So host users, the account that controls the alts. So I'm going to use this account. I'm going to take the username and put it in the script. For alts, these are the ones that are going to drop money. So you're going to get the user ID from Roblox on the URL. An easy way to do this is on account manager. You can copy and copy user ID and go down the list at every account. Now that we have all the main stuff down, we can work on lowering your memory usage and CPU usage. By this, we're going to be downloading a thing called Process Lasso. The link for everything will be in the description in this video. On your browser, type in Process Lasso. It should be this very first thing by Bitsum. Free download. Open up your downloads folder, run the exe, then we're going to open it up and it should look like this. Head over to active processes, open up your Roblox account manager. You want to press UWP every time you open up account manager and then you're ready to join on an account. So it joins server. Now go to process lasso and then find windows 10 universal so right click windows 10 universal cpu priority put that on the lowest hover over always and put it on idle now we're going to do the same thing with io priority the lowest it can go very low memory priority very low and then after that you're good And now to lower the memory usage, we're going to be using memory duct. I'll also put this in the link in description. Type memory duct in your browser. And it should be the first link. Henry plus plus. Press on that. Scroll down just a little bit so you see setup.exe. Download that one. Open your downloads, run the exe. When you open it, it looks like this. Press file, settings. And then change these settings. Turn these two on, check mark. Change this to 45 or whatever works best with your PC. You'll just have to mess with it. 45 or these other values that I put in here. And then you want to change this bottom one to one, one minute and then close and then clean memory and then you're good. Now that we're basically done, we can go ahead and put money on all of our alts. We can start off by having everything open and then close out of memory duct and process lasso also want to make sure you have your private server links for your accounts on account per private server so i'm going to go ahead and copy my private server link and then put it into my alt that i want money on so I'll go ahead and paste it in here and then press the little save button copy link job id and do this for the rest of your accounts
we have that done we can go ahead and join our accounts in Now we want to load up our auto farm script. So we want to find IKU auto farm and then open that. We'll see if our accounts are in the game. Good. Checked. And then run. And then here we, we will see the screen. See your wallet, your profit. And it looks good. We're getting money. Now we're auto farming. And now we just leave our PC. Once you built up enough money and you're ready to drop or do your very first drop, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. For our very first drop, we're gonna load up our host account. We got that loaded up we're gonna load in our cross tide scripts our money counter normal cross tide and check that now run both of those scripts You can press J to teleport on your keyboard. Get your private server link. I didn't mention this in the beginning, but you want to paste that private server link into all of your alts in your host. All join the same server. So paste that in job ID. Now we just wait a bit for it to load because this will take a little second. Now we're good. That's done. We can go ahead and load up our alts. Since we have our host in, we're just going to load the alts. My PC can handle this much, so it joins here. And then once they load, we just minimize and do that for Now that the accounts are all loaded up, we want to inject our script. So we want to inject and then run our IKU script, our Ducky's alt. Now that we ran the script, our alt should. It looks something like this, and then we can set it up. Uh, don't mind my laggy PC. We can go ahead and set it up. So that's basically how you drop and I'll show you guys how to set up cross tides GUI to make things a little bit simpler. So this is cross tides GUI. You can check all your alts money and you can also put in how much money people buy or how much you want them to pick up. So and it'll automatically do the math for me here.
automatically tell me when they're done picking that money up and I can also TP to people using this. Cross Tide is really useful because it also tells you when people join and leave the game. It also notifies you when people are done picking up. You can use these sound IDs. You can also pick a location to teleport and then press J on the keyboard to teleport. All these other miscellaneous I do not use, only the two that I show I mainly use. Thank you so much for watching my full tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. Love you, Pookie. It'd be hard to watch a cat when the vans keep dropping. Got to be a Ford on my swimming pants keep falling. It'd be hard to understand when coming.